Two families heartbroken and in mourning tonight for an 18-year-old college-bound teenager from Noonan and the professional skydiver who took her on her first jump. And both were killed in a freak skydiving accident yesterday. Tonight, investigators are working to find out what went wrong out there. New at 11, John Sherry talked to the teen's father about the moment he lost her and everyone's lives changed forever. Just before she boarded the plane on Sunday for her first ever parachute jump, Gina Triplicata, who turned 18 in May, posed for this photo along with her grandmother, Renee. That morning, she wasn't afraid. She was just ready to do it. Granddaughter and grandmother had always wanted to skydive, so Sunday they went up together. Each jumped in tandem with a professional skydiver from Skydive Atlanta near Thomaston. The whole family was at the airfield to watch. Gina's father, Joey Triplicata, says Renee Renee and her skydiver landed first, all smiles, and they all looked up. We saw a orange type of uh, shoot kind of far away off in the distance that was it's actually going spinning upside down. My wife even turned to me and said, you know, I hope that's not Gina. They jumped into their van and sped across the airfield toward Gina. A sheriff's deputy kept them away. He tells us, he said, you know, it doesn't look good. Gina was killed along with the Skydive Atlanta skydiver who jumped with her, Nick Esposito. It's a freak freak accident. Gina's father was sure she'd be safe. As devastating he is, it, it was just a, a mistake. I don't know where, where the mistake was made. You know, we're, we're desperate to know that. Skydive Atlanta is not commenting about Nick Esposito yet. The owner emailing us that everyone is devastated and stunned and working to find out what happened. Awesome. Thank you. Gina Triplicata just graduated from Northgate High School. She was excited about attending the University of North Georgia to become an English teacher. Her younger brother and sister, her friends, her parents, inconsolable, losing the light of their lives. She was positive and smiling, a sweet, beautiful young woman. Friends have set up a GoFundMe account to help pay for Gina's funeral expenses. Upson County Sheriff Dan Kilgore tells us the initial investigation indicates the primary shoot failed to open properly and then the emergency shoot open too late. He hopes to be able to give both families answers soon. Skydive Atlantis owner tells us at first all was well. The free fall was uneventful and then the main shoot malfunctioned for some reason. The owner says he's working with the sheriff and with the FAA as they conduct their investigation.